Hi, I'm here at Shorty's Barber Shop, and today my video is going to be about uh, our barber shop's a thing of the past. And we're going to just enter the barber shop here, and and here we are in the barber shop, and this is in Grand Forks, and this is Adrian of Short Shorty's Barber Shop. Hi. And he's going to do a little haircut here on my husband, Norman. So, Adrian, how long have you been in the barbershop business? Uh, this is just three and a half years now. Three and a half years? So, have you been doing it, like, prior to Grand Forks? No, I trained under the previous barber here. I apprenticed under him. Oh, and his name was Shorty? No, his name was Bob. Oh, okay. Where did the name Shorty come from? I used to have a food cart in town with my wife, and we're both short and left-handed, so that's the name. And then she quickly stole Lefty, leaving me with Shorty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to be doing a trim here. So how do you pick out a style when you're looking at somebody's hair? I, well, I usually ask them what they want, and if they've been here before, I kind of remember what, what I've done before and go with the pattern. Like, I can follow the previous pattern. Yeah, okay. What about if they want a whole new hairstyle? Then, then I ask them what they want and get them to describe it. Or okay. Preferably bring a picture would be best and go from there. Okay. Tapering it up the back or blocking it? Uh, blocking it. And up on the sides and long on, long around the on the top. Okay. So I'm gonna just step around here and just kind of. Do you get many women coming into the barber shop for trims? It's kind of interesting. I'm starting to get more. So, because uh, some women just like a, you know, like a tapered cut and something simple. So they don't necessarily need to go to a hairdresser for that, right? Right, and the prices of hairdressers are quite a bit higher than. Right, my prices are... Your prices are really... reasonable. Right? Yeah, I'll show you the prices up here. Look at that, haircut, $16. Seniors, 13 That's pretty awesome. Finally, us old guys get a break. <laughs> <laughs> Since here's some of the utensils that they use. Still using the clippers and the little brushes. Did you uh, learn also to shave around the ears? I can remember my dad going to the barber shop, and that used to be a thing they used to do with a straight straight razor and shave we, around the ears. No, we don't do it, and there's a reason that we don't do it is because then I have to get all kinds of expensive equipment to sterilize the straight razors, okay. mm. and also then. It becomes a, basically the inspectors come every three months instead of every five years. Okay. Oh. I'd rather see an actual five years. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So I'm going to give you a little view of what the barber shop looks like. There's an old barber chair over here. Yeah. The old time barber chair. Even pool table in this barber shop for <laughs> killing your spare time while you're waiting. And a piano. 
Who plays the piano? Basically, I just kind of collect cool stuff. I don't really play it. I play the guitar, but I got it cheap, so everything's for sale. Okay. Along with advice, eh? Mm-hmm. Different question. <laughs> Barbershops used to be a place for men to hang out at one time. And it's kind of nice and kind of getting that going here again. Mm -hmm. Guys will come in and play a pool or pick up the guitars. Mm -hmm. Get a couple, three guys playing guitars. Busier and in the summer than the winter? Or? Um, yeah, I'm busier in like the peak season in the July and August. Okay. But I stay pretty steady all year mm -hmm. round. Got a lot of regular clientele. It's so, kind of nice in a small town. Everybody, they'll phone each other. Okay, he's only got one guy in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> so, and phone Bill. He needs a haircut too. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of neat. How I apprenticed under Bob and. said how it would be was, was exactly how he said it would be, so that's kind of, can't get much better than that. Are you originally from Grand Forks? No, I'm from Winnipeg. Oh, cold Winnipeg. <laughs> Actually, it was kind of cold when I was just there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you had a, um, a loss in the family. Yeah, sorry for your loss. Thanks, yeah, thanks. My wife's stepdad died, and basically, her dad. Mm. Yeah. But he was 83. Mm -hmm. and and a deer ran into a sun. <laughs> I woke up to Bammy coming to the window. Is that right? <laughs> so you know how you put on your automatic radio. Yeah. <laughs> How old is your oldest pup client? Mm -hmm. I have three 90 year olds. Oh, is that right? Mm, wow. Actually, <laughs> yeah. And it's amazing because the one, the one 90 year old, he's got more energy than most 50 year olds. Is that right? It's incredible. And he comes in and he comes in and he's like, I says, hey, how's it going today? Pissed off, Shorty. <laughs> he says, because I can't get health insurance anymore to go traveling. And he says, yet I don't take any medication, I don't take any pills or anything, and I can't get it. He says, they won't even sell it to me anymore. He says, yet, you know, wow, guys who aren't healthy can get it. So I don't know if he is right or, you know what I mean, he was just going off. <laughs> Isn't that something? Yeah? Whether that information was correct. Yeah. But he seems like a pretty on ball guy, right? Mm -hmm. He says, I just bought a new car. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Man. Yeah. It's 
piece. I got another guy, he's 86, and he still lives off in the woods and picks berries, and he's one of these big, burly, you know what I mean? Almost 90 year old bushman. Incredible. You get a lot of uh, really young people in. Uh, I guess my share in proportion to how many are in town. Mm -hmm. like more in summer from the lake. Right. See, you have some old wooden hockey sticks. Those are from Winnipeg. Yeah. Actually, Johnny Palomi from. Okay, see, now you're getting me yakking again. Johnny Palomi from the trail. Um, smoke eaters? Okay. He figures those may be his sticks. Really? Because he was playing in Winnipeg at the time, actually, I guess, in Dauphin. Okay. And then he played for the 1961 Smoke Eaters that won the world, the whole Oh, thing. you're kidding. The, the world championship. Right. They wow. won the world championship, and he figures they might be his hockey sticks. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, that's pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And I found them in a garage in Winnipeg. Wow. Um, in a house, I had bought. I see you also support the local junior hockey club. Mm hmm. Try to win the local soccer. Mm -hmm. Wayne is actually a te technical director of Boundary Soccer Association. Okay. So we've got main camp starting pretty soon for the Board of Ruins. Looks like another really good year. Nick has done some really good recruiting. We won 12 games last year. That was an improvement, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, winning one <laughs> the year before. place for Nick to start over and rebuild up the team. Yes, please. Change to a different clipper? Mm hmm. Just to give that one a rest. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just 
heating up a bit. Mm -hmm. Have clippers changed a lot in, through the years? They're pretty well the same. Uh, well, now they got cordless. I guess the technology has changed, but it's some things are good, some things are bad. Mm. Right, like they used to make uh, the gears and the clippers were made out of like bagel light. Okay. So they and they last forever. Right. Now they make one of that white plastic stuff, yes. and they don't last. So I used. I actually stole the old gears out of an ancient clipper mm -hmm. and put them, upgraded a new clipper. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Put your brand name on it, Shorty's Clippers. Yeah. But, uh, do, you, do you go with a particular brand? Yeah, this is an Andis Master and this is a Oster. Kind of a, this is also an Andis trimmer, yeah. but I have an Oster trimmer too. Okay. <laughs> so this seems to be kind of the barber standard, a big old Oster and an Andis Master. Okay. Here's a really old Oster. See, hasn't changed much. That's an Oster. Now, that's a month old. That's 65 years old, I believe, or something like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess why change it if it works? Yeah. Can't be too good for business, though. Brand us. It's like the Maytag. <laughs> yeah. You never have to replace it. Well, that one still works, but I guess they what what happens is they kind of slow down. Mm. I don't think all of us after we pass the age of sixty. <laughs> Eyebrows okay? Yeah, they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> See, those are the questions I asked. <laughs> and those are good questions. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people don't think to uh, have their eyebrows trimmed, and you see these big, bushy, burly eyebrows that are sticking every direction. And if you happen to have hairy ears, I'll get those for you, too. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> And there you have it, folks, a full-blown haircut at Shorty's Barber Shop in Grand Forks.